It's early spring, we're out on a customer's lawn, the snow is gone, and uh, we're noticing a lot of different things that uh, customers are gonna have to deal with here this spring and a lot in most springs. So we wanna take a few minutes and uh, go ahead and look at some of these items that we're finding on your lawn. All right, well the first area of concern we're gonna look at is dog spot. You can see here, generally when you see dog spot, especially after the winter time, it's usually either gonna be by the front door or the back door. Uh, generally where the animals and where the dogs go to the bathroom. So here you can see a bunch of bleached out grass. That stuff is not likely to recover. So there's gonna need to be some remedies uh, to work on that grass in those areas. All right, so we wanted to focus here on uh, how we work on replacing the dog spot on your lawn. So obviously, as we mentioned earlier, you can see the areas here that are yellow. Those are the areas that are not gonna recover. So the first thing we start by doing is trying to lightly rake out with a leaf rake, plastic leaf rake, some of these areas that are that the grass is uh, certainly dead at this point. You can see that'll allow it to breathe. So when we do that, now we're gonna wanna bring in some topsoil and some, uh, and some appropriate grass seed for the conditions on that lawn uh, because those areas are gonna need to be reseeded. Seeding it, put some, putting some seed in there, and then putting topsoil over the top of that will increase seed to soil contact, which will ultimately lead to better germination rates. So please contact Weedman to make sure that uh, we can help you on the, on the proper timing for the seeding. All right, the second issue we have on lawns, uh, which is extremely prevalent on the lawns of the upper Midwest uh, post winter, is snow mold. Here you can see a patch of snow mold, and this, this typically happens uh, in areas where you have lots of snow standing for maybe longer than normal periods of time. Those areas might be areas around sidewalks and driveways where you have the big snow piles piling up. So here is a little patch of snow mold. Um, you can see in there close that there's a little bit of a pinkish hue to it, and that is the fungus in there, uh, easily identified as pink snow mold. Usually snow mold is something that we don't have to worry too much about, quite honestly. This is one of the easiest remedies, and we take that same light leaf rake we were using earlier, and we get in there, and we just lightly fluff that area of grass up, and you can already see now, by getting oxygen in there, um, you get some oxygen down into the root area, and that grass will just pop right back, and within a matter of a month or so, you won't even notice that area anymore. All right, so the last uh, issue we run into after the winter time here is called vole damage. Vole with a V, not with an M. Voles are basically field mice. So what they do is they come through and they make tunnels through your grass under the snow, and uh, they start eating away right at the uh, right at the crown of the of the grass. You can see it's right down here to the dirt in these areas. Uh, normally, you don't notice them a whole lot in the summertime because usually they stay deeper in landscaping, um, mulch beds or uh, fields, uh, prairie grass, things like that. And when you have complete snow cover, they do come out and tunnel in uh, throughout your lawn underneath the snow. So here you have an example where the ground is pretty wet, so it's knocked down a lot of the uh, areas that they've gone through, but you can see all the damage through here that they've come out through this uh, landscaping area out into the grass uh, and uh, disrupted the turf. All right, so here we've taken a little bit of time to rake this area out so you can really understand what these veiny runs look like from voles. So what they do is here you can see coming right through out of the landscaping area, they have eaten the tissue right off and it made a real veiny like trench right through into the yard. So we've taken all that dead grass out of here now and this is really gonna help this area recover. Usually by early summer, you'll find these areas will have filled in uh, on their own with the right fertilization. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a quote from Weedman, please go to WeedmanUSA.com. Also, please go ahead and check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.